This is a lesson about hurricanes taught at the Jubilee Family Development Center during the science camp of summer 2005. This video includes highlights of the instruction and the activities that took place after the lesson. The instructor prepared a PowerPoint presentation and began the lesson by showing a video clip on hurricanes.
If you were on the ground looking up, what do you think these clouds would look like? Would they be wispy thin clouds up high? Would they be really puffy clouds? What do you think? Mm -hmm. okay. Huge clouds like this. Have a hurricane in North America, so which way does it go around? Like a clock? Or opposite, opposite to a clock? Counterclockwise, okay. So here's our eye of the hurricane, okay? What is this part? These kids sit the right eyeball. around here. Eyeball. Eyeball. Who wants to know what kind of weather you get in an eyeball? Bad. Bad weather. What will you find? It will be really bright. It will be clear. <coughs> what might you find right here? Uh, Tornadoes, high winds, lots of rain. Okay, what part is out there? What part of the hurricane is out there? Spiral bands. Very good. All right. Now. Which way are we rotating again? If we went like a clock, it'd be this way. We're going this way, right. So, now, if this is Africa over here, North America there, which way is our whole hurricane going? We're probably moving that way. And we're spinning like this. So we're spinning around, and we're moving this way. Now, let's pretend okay. that you're in Miami. Notice that we're the instructor asked the children the lots of questions. Of storm, when teaching inquiry science, it is important for the, the teacher to model people good question-asking skills band. in order to and encourage students to like be this. true investigators okay. of science. What's the next part of the storm that hits my hand? Other than asking questions, an important component okay. of now, teaching inquiry is incorporating hands-on and interactive here? activities wind into wind lessons. Wind. How about right in the eye? Is it wind? The next section of this video shows the students working on activities related to hurricanes. The first activity is a matching worksheet to help reinforce the names of different parts of a hurricane. At the end, this is how your paper should look. For the Linking, next activity, the students were given maps and were asked to make their own hurricanes, which they named after themselves. This helped to introduce discussion about the hurricane naming process. After the activities, some of the students were asked to come to the front and talk about their hurricanes. Speak up so we can hear you. My eye. Here, I'll hold it for you. I'll hold it for you and you describe. Where's the eye? 